Hey everybody, I'm with Laura Chilson today who did the art for the Commandeer and we're coming on the year anniversary <laughs> of the release so I thought I'd get together with her and uh, sort of talk about it a little bit and I wanted to start out by, I don't know if you remember this Laura, but um, I wanted to show everybody the sketch that I sent you um, <laughs> because it looks nothing like uh, it looks nothing like what you ended up with, which I'm really grateful for, and you'll see that everybody. So this is what I sent Laura. Okay, that's very. <laughs> it's like kindergarten stuff right there. And that makes me feel good about myself. <laughs> what's that? It makes me feel good about myself that you're starting <laughs> out with that. <laughs> yes, it, it makes me feel good too that uh, I know you and that you could send me back this. <laughs> so, um, can you can you tell me how? you took my idea of just that kindergarten sketch and turned it into the what ended up being the cover did you, did you start anywhere special or did it just come to you um i didn't necessarily start anywhere special i do a lot of commissions for people so for me it's just a matter of asking the right questions for people um, trying to suss out what their ideas are the sketch was actually really helpful the concept was pretty clear to me um, and, and then it was just a matter of, you know, taking it, envisioning it in my head, trying to figure out the different photo references and things I can bring together to make it look good. Um, and just, you know, working and seeing what you preferred, what you didn't like. And, you know, it's, it's something that I've developed over a few years now. I've been doing commissions professionally since 2009. So I've got a lot of that process worked out for myself. Yeah, and it, it's looking at your site, you are mainly doing the pencil sketches, right? Mm -hmm. And yeah. now, what, it, what is it about the pencil and, and sketching rather than uh, paints and inks or any other types of forms that, you, that are out there? What is this about the pencil for you? Well, I use... It's, the pencils I use are kind of interesting. They're actually watercolor pencils. So you can add water with a brush or a sponge or a towel and get the more painty textures, which is cool. Mm -hmm. And I like having that kind of versatility. Um, I love just the fact that they don't smudge. You know, like a typical pencil, graphite and stuff will smudge. Colored pencils don't so much. But I do like being able to make it a little bit more painterly sometimes. I, my degree is in painting and drawing. So I do both. Um, sketching is, I mean, it comes naturally to most people just being able to, you know, work with a pencil, pens, crayons, you know. Um, so that's what I'm most comfortable with in terms of drafting things. And um, you know, people like different aesthetics. I can do acrylic paints, oil paints, but they're a lot more time consuming, a lot more expensive up front because of all the materials that you need. Paint's really expensive. Um, typically you have to work on a bigger scale because it's hard to get tiny little details in the paint, uh, whereas a pencil can be sharpened, you know, so it's easier to get some of those fine details. Um, yeah, it's just basically I work with whatever's going to suit the project the best and within what I'm comfortable with and what I've, you know, the skills that I've developed for these different media, um, you know, it's, they, they're very specific to, uh, like with watercolor pencils, like I've, I've just used them so much. Like the skills that I've developed for them, I know how it's going to turn out. Like I know what it's going to look like in the end. And so if I think that's going to suit the project, I'll try to push somebody that way. Um, and I can be confident that it's going to come out decent, essentially. Right. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. And your site is laurachilson.com, yes. right? So everybody yeah. can go there and check out all the other sketches that, that, you, that you have. Yep, and paintings. I have I have portraits, pet portraits, people portraits. I've got all sorts of wacky special commissions, different sorts of things. Those um, are the fun. Those are fun ones to look at. They yeah. are fun because they're all over the place. I really love collaborating with people. I think it's so much fun to take people's ideas and work with them. Um, it helps to keep me motivated, and it. I'm a big believer in collaboration, and I like when two people can come together and do something that neither of them could really do by themselves. You know, because right. I wouldn't be coming up with all these concepts myself necessarily. Right. So do you collaborate with somebody as far as just their idea 
and then your ideas, or do you collaborate um, with other artists too? Um, I haven't really collaborated with other artists in a while. Usually, it's just people come to me with concepts and things like that. I've done different web comic key things in the past, or graphic novel type of things. Writers collaborate with, you know, and other musicians too. Actually, I have done some album covers. Um, generally, not artists because it would be kind of like too many cooks in the kitchen, like treading on each other's turps, stepping on toes. It could that could be problematic, but I'd, I'd be open to that for sure. But yeah, it sounds like it would be. I mean, it's not like two musicians collaborating with each other. Right. It's, compl it's two styles trying to come together. I could imagine how that would get a little difficult. But I was just curious, um, since you could talk people about do collaboration. It. Yeah, people do it. Yeah, it would be interesting to see if um, you had that opportunity. It'd be interested. I'd be interested to see what the end result would be, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. And it's cool. I've seen um, different illustrators who will do parts of the illustrations and have other people come in and do other parts. Or in a lot of cases, you'll have people that do the line work and people doing the coloring if you're talking about a graphic novel or comic book or something you've got people that do you know the the lines the black and white things and then a colorist is separate from that so that's that takes a lot of you know patience and letting go of your ego I think that's great <laughs> I would like to try that yeah and speaking of the the graphic novels and comic book art you won a competition at the snow by snow by night um, site right which is an online yeah. graphic novel yeah, it's awesome. It's a it's a web comic. Uh, it's my favorite web comic, um, and I did a fan art piece for them for their fan art contest, and I did end up winning it mostly just by bugging at everybody on Facebook to vote for me. I think that's pretty much why. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that's how they uh, that was the point of the competition, right? Is to get new traffic to the site. So I think so. Yeah. Hopefully, that. hopefully they don't think I cheated or something. <laughs> oh no! It was. I mean. Looking at all of the entries, uh, yours was definitely the best, in my opinion. So Thank I had no problem you. voting for you many times. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate how, that. How did you get into, um, how did you find the Snow by Night um, graphic novel online? Is it something you've been following for a while, or are your friends uh, a part of it? Um, no, it's actually, I originally found out about them on a web page banner, it was another webcomic, Saturday Morning Breakfast Serial <laughs> had like one of their ads, just a banner ad on the side of their webcomic, and I like different webcomics, so I saw the cool artwork that they were doing, I was like, ooh, pretty, clicked on that, and uh, then ever since that day, I've been following, they update, I think it's Mondays and Wednesdays, they're on hiatus right now for a couple weeks, they're switching artists, um, but yeah, I, I was hooked immediately. Um, <laughs> Funny thing about them, their writer does a lot of freelancing for Wizards of the Coast. Um, and if you don't know Wizards, they do D&D, &D, if you're familiar. So it's very nerdy. You know, it's got a little bit of that element to it. I think he's a great writer. So. And I yeah, love I'm not familiar, but I just found the Snow by Night from your competition. So I'm, I'm going to get, get into that because the first comic looks real. Chapter one looks really cool, and the art is really good. So it is. And, and you say the Wizards and Wizards is the other one? Is that what it was called? Wizards of the Coast. They're the company Wizards that... Wizards of the Coast. They, they do Dungeons and Dragons. They do... Oh, cool. <laughs> so he's a freelancer. Right. He's a freelancer. The writer is a freelancer. He writes a lot of things for them. Or he has. So it's got that element to it. Um, I, I'm a big gamer, role player. So <laughs> I like that style. Right. And that's another area where you're artistic, right, is with that, the um, fashion, the old style fashion, right, and you're, you're making, I think I saw on Facebook that, um, that, what was it, a side um, sort of carrier out of leather, did, is, you made that, right? Oh, actually, that was Shane, that's my fiance, oh, he, uh, all right. he's doing, he got, he's into the leather work, he's got, um, Actually, he's got a Facebook page up now, Etsy. He's this is he's been doing it maybe eight, ten months now. So that's his baby. I've been helping him um, design the different like things that he tools on it. So mm -hmm. if you want like a wolf head on your um, crazy medieval bracers, you know, I can design a wolf head and he'll stamp it on there. He'll he'll tool it. So and I did we did some elven 
uh, style bracers, right? An IV kind of creeping up the uh, arms, which is cool. And she had a belt that went along with that too. Yeah, it's it's really cool stuff, um, and it's cool that that you guys are into that. I, I might have to check out the Etsy page uh, to see what is up there. But you're saying he does also commissions too. He does, yeah. Most of his stuff, he's got a few things that he has ready made, but most of his work is all special commissions. Um, and right now he's kind of specializing in like Renaissance fair, leather work, armor, things like that. He does wallets, belts, dog collars, all sorts of stuff like that, yeah. Do Anya and Rowan, um, are they like the fashion, yes. the models for everything? <laughs> <Yes>, they are. <laughs> awesome. the dog collars, absolutely, yep. That's cool. That's really cool. Yeah, I'll have to check that out for sure. So what other projects are you working on right now? Do you have anything in the queue? I do. I've got a few different commissions. I have um I do engagement and like wedding portrait things as gifts. Um so like they people contact me. Uh, a friend of mine actually from way back in like middle school contacted me and wanted to do a picture of her sister and her fiance. They're getting married. Uh, so I'm doing a piece. She ordered one online for that. Um, and I've done a whole string of just, you know, couples portraits, whether it's going to be an engagement present or a wedding present from certain people. Like, a, um, I had a mother of the groom uh, order one pretty recently. Um, my table's right over there. I can see what I'm doing. I'm doing a cool still life right now, um, another commission. And I'm recently trying to do more of my own prints. I've always really liked fantasy, renaissance, medieval style artwork, stuff like that. And um, I don't know if you saw, I took some fun pictures with Rowan, my Siberian boy, um, just a few weeks ago. And there was one where we're um, kind of cuddling his heads up against mine. And so I used that as a reference. And I put myself in kind of like this dress and gave myself elf ears. And it's going to be nerdy, fun. <laughs> so are you going to be holding, because I remember... He's sort of on your lap, right? And he's sort of like this. Is that the way yeah, it was? Yeah, I have it. Do you want to see it? Yeah. It's in progress. I'll show you. Hold on. All right, cool. Climb off the couch. <laughs> so this is in progress. Let's see if I can hold it up here. Oh, it's kind of got a glare oh, on yeah. it. <laughs> that is it. cool. Yeah. So that's, yeah, work in progress. But I really want to be able to, you know, use... Um, like take a bunch of like references just from my own life because it's you know that's it inspires me like having the dogs and being so close with them inspires me and I love being able to share that with people a lot of people um, comment on their photos on Facebook the dogs are way more popular than I am on <laughs> isn't that the way it always is same same with my dogs too yeah yeah Even on the music page they always get more likes than if I post yeah. one of my songs or something. Oh yeah, definitely. So I want to. They have to like earn their keep, you know. So we'll put them to work. <laughs> yep, I like that. That's cool. Um, and so this getting into your own sort of sketching and um, is is new for you. So you haven't been doing that so much recently. It's been mostly commissions. Yeah, mostly commissions because it's guaranteed, you know, money up front. When you're trying to make a living, you know, it's hard because you never know if you're going to do 10 cool prints and you're going to think they're the coolest thing in the world, but then nobody will ever buy them from you and then you're, right. you know, all that time and stuff. But I've gotten a lot more confident and I'm just in a good place where I, I commissions are pretty consistent. So I want to push myself and I want to kind of take that leap and take more risks and, and do work that, is more personal to me, but I'll never, I can guarantee I'm never going to want to give up doing commissions because, like I said, I love that collaboration. It's not just like a money thing. I like, actually, I do really love doing portraits, so. Right. Yeah. yeah. And I'm, every time that I play out, everybody is always, or I can almost guarantee that someone is going to come up and compliment the commandeer art. So right. someone always comes up and says, you know, I love the art. Um, uh, other artists around here in Phoenix um, say always ask about you. So I don't know if anybody's con contacted you, but everybody wants to know how they can find you. Um, I should just so, send you a boatload of business cards. <laughs> yes, do it. I'll I'll keep them in my wallet because 
uh, people are always asking about the art for this. And um, this is actually, I don't know if you know this, but this is the only one that has the full art. Uh, all the all the other ones just are like uh, just the cardboard and then have it here because these are really expensive to print. Oh, uh, I bet. But, but I did this one for uh, a full ones so that uh, to, so I can give it away um, at the end of this month. So, nice. That's yeah. so cool. So um, everybody who anybody who wants this can just share any of the commandeer stuff um, and just tag me, and they can have uh, Laura's art and it's frame. You can put it in a frame. Or you know, do whatever you want with it. Um, but yeah, this is a this is a one of the kind. I had I had to do this with with your with your art. Oh, I'm so glad you did. It looks awesome. Yeah, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. But yeah, so thank you so much, Laura, for spending some time uh, with me yeah, today and talking about the commandeer and everything else you got going on. Yeah, thanks so much for letting me blab. <laughs> oh, anytime. <laughs> yeah, thanks again. Yeah, of course.